All right, we're here with Metal Music Talk, and we're talking to the, the wonderful, the great, the most talented man in the world, Dave from Gord. Dave, how's it going? I'm going fine. It's just, well, far too, far too, uh, far too nice, far too complimentary. <laughs> All right. Ah, but uh, yeah, it's f- flooded with self gratifying, self beautificating <laughs> pomp. I'm ready. So we're at the uh, last night of the uh, tour here in uh, hometown Richmond, Virginia, at the National tonight, eight o'clock. How's the tour been? It's been great. It's uh, been all over the world. We actually had our shit in Australia and our costumes in Europe, and we had the costumes from Europe meet us in Australia. So we actually went around the entire world, uh, in a sense, and uh, crossing the equator twice and all getting ridiculous sailor tattoos on our butts. All right, that'll work. And how was Australia? Australia was far too expensive. Yeah. And there's a horse of young Muslim youth that uh, run run around the beach stoning uh, women who are sunbathing. So it's pretty tense down there. Yes. And then there was an immigrant disaster where a ship sank and like no one came to help them and they just got smashing up the rocks and like everyone was just like filming it. <laughs> and then uh, that was just kind of like a symbol of what's going on in Australia right now. You know, immigrants being smashed against rocks. And then the whole country burst into flames as soon as we left. So, oh, and Hugh Jackman smashed his head on the Oprah Winfrey set. That was another big thing that happened while we were there. And we made fun of it every day. Well, that's always a plus. Yeah. We made little fake eyeballs out of deli tray meat. It was pretty good. Well, there you go. Um, the new album, Bloody Pit of Horror, been tearing it up. It's been all over the place. Has it really? It has. It's got. I think it took a little while to catch it to kick in because uh, people were still reeling under the assault of lust in space, and you know, and boom, we come out with another album. I think it took even the, you know, like the 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 super faithful were right with us all the way, but like even yeah, a lot of other people were just like, it took, I think they're like, whoa, this album's fucking kick ass. So they're yeah. digging it. Yeah, it caught me off guard that y'all put one out so quick after Lost in Space, and I was we were, I was taken back by it, and I was like, oh, thanks. We got lucky because Corey had almost a whole album of music written for mm-hmm. uh, another project we were going to do on the side together, and I was like listening to it with Dirks at the house, and I was like, dude, we should just make this new bar album. And Corey was like, really? You want to do that? I was like, yes, this stuff rules. And then we had all that extra time instead of arra- sitting around arranging new songs, we just had time to work on the vocals and the production and make it sound just absolutely awesome. And I had an like, extra long time to get all the uh, vocal arrangements together. So it was great. I mean, they would have had to sit there for another two months straight. You know, that would have been fun too, but that would have stretched it out. Uh, it would have come out, you know, two, three months later. It still would have come out, you know. But uh, mm-hmm. it was also very mus- musically cool because Corey was doing this project. He wanted to tune down. He wanted to make it real sludgy and dark and foreboding sounding and you know that's so that's what Guar ended up sounding like so I was really happy about it and yeah Mike's playing the big eight string guitar that looks like a beaver paddle tail it's uh, pretty wicked stuff nice now um, is there going to be another live compilation album coming out I know you'll have the DV out yeah I believe we're shooting tonight we've definitely gotten a lot of uh, a lot of uh, footage from all the tour all over the world I took a lot of behind the scenes stuff and uh had a really good time doing it, so I got to go back and review all that footage. I've gotten heaps of it. We do like a <clears throat> Stuart Copeland esque documentary one of these days of uh, all the things Guar, but uh, a nice yeah. black and white footage film. Yeah, so I don't know what direction the, the new DVD project will be as far as the uh, the live show. It'll you know those things have become pretty much just a uh, you know a documentation of what the new show is. And, you know, they're like different chapters in Guar's history. We haven't done like a whole big scale like It's Sleazy or, or Skullet Face or, or Fallis Wonderland for a long time. We'd love to, but uh, right now we, you know, we're just concentrating more on web content and you know we're showing it up on a lot of TV, which is really cool as well. Yeah, I've noticed the uh, Odorous being on a couple of talk shows here and there, and as the uh, intergalactic correspondent on, uh, on, Red, Eye, on yeah. Red Eye, yeah. It's always good flipping through the channels and all of a sudden you see gore on a major news network and it yeah, makes I, I me feel good. <laughs> I don't know how much longer it's going to last but doing some of the horrible things we do but for some reason uh, it's you know it's going on so far and there's already there's a big log of uh, you know YouTube footage of it so yep. it definitely happened we'll see how long uh, it takes Fox to realize uh, who they're working with. Right and with this being the last day of the tour are y'all going to enjoy some time off before y'all do the uh, summer metal festivals in Europe? Yeah, I'm going to have to take two days off and then I'll be back to work on Monday morning trying to get shit together with a ton of uh, building and I'm, uh, PETA is coming in to film another insane video uh, next week, actually a week from, so yeah, we'll be right back to work and then, yeah, we don't tour, we don't leave town for shows till June, so yeah, we've got like three months, two and a half months here to like really get everything under control and uh, taken care of. 
Yeah, moving on to the PETA thing, fight humans, not dogs. Uh, I believe y'all are working on that with Red Cord. Yeah, we did that. We did that actually already. That was from last year. That was last year. So that okay. was the first one we did with them, and uh, you know they were like, "You want to do another one?" And I was just like, "Well, the, the idea is just got to be completely filthy, and you got to come out here and and you know and basically hire us to make it and uh, do it at our studio, and it's gonna be just the sickest thing ever." They're like, "Okay," and they haven't they haven't balked yet, so. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to be like the PETA poster boy band. You know, if you're going to do something with them, you got to just you got to spin it the right way so everybody's you know properly offended. And uh, you know, hopefully this next one will will we'll do that. And hopefully after this, they'll never want to work with us again. Good old PETA. Yeah. You can always count on them some good graphic footage. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have some good stuff in this one. So yeah, people might be a little confused right now, but soon everything will be made clear. Awesome. And uh. To close it, I've had a couple people ask me, is there ever going to be a like a gore reunion show with past members coming back just for shits and giggles? Yeah, well, we did, a, we did that at the barbecue. We didn't really advertise it, but we did, uh, we kind of ended up doing that, and everybody played. You know, we had, like, some guys from back, you know, the Hello Days, and Mike Bishop came out, and, you know, there was a lot of different, uh, you know, all the alternatives were there. It was mm -hmm. just like a really... Really hilarious uh, transition through all the different phases of war, and we're gonna try to do it again at this year's barbecue, which we're gonna do sometime this summer, uh, and uh, you know, and hopefully get a little bit more, uh, get some more of the guys in there this year, so we'll have a full like you know everybody on board. All right, well, Dave, I appreciate you taking a couple minutes out of your busy day to talk to me. No problem. Um, hope you all have a great show tonight and enjoy your time off. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. And, uh,